Hey Mood Pop Schools and viewers, um, welcome to the video. I'm going to do a guide to infantry online. Uh, you'd begin to go to freeinfantry.com, it's the website. Uh, you can download it now. Definitely join the Discord, um, a lot of help there and talks about this old great game. You can see a bit of footage there in the background. And today we're just going to discuss, yeah, just a quick setup of everything. So let's get right into it. Uh, I've already installed it and so bring this over as you can see it's checking files does this every time put in your login details sign up if you haven't and remember it so it's easier you can play it uh, this agreement comes through I'll read through that if you like accept because it's there is no license just play and then we've got this so you put your name in I've put Shula Crypt and um, basics from here, you got your help there, about it, some links there, resolution, leave it as windowed, um, because can't really do it full screen unless you really tinker with it, with um, legacy versions of Windows. Uh, we'll start, for, start with options. Uh, options, you can leave all this, details, make it high in 64, should be fine for everyone. If not, again, go to the Discord, technical support, and the will assist you with there. I've unlift all this stuff and then advanced you're gonna have leave all this as it is banner cache may be able to increase but don't see any difference too much important things now movement configuration so this is for joystick and I'm going to show this setup with uh, mouse and keyboard some pros and vets they use just pure keyboard but I'm doing mouse so I've left it as left button right button nothing it can cause issues if you set these up. Sometimes it doesn't, but I've left them as nothing. And then keyboard configuration. So pretty much it's all default, like these message macros, which I'll explain later. And some of these are the keys. So what you can change is forward W, backwards S, strafe left is A, strafe right is D, W, A, S, D, obviously. Hyper forward dub, uh, shift, plus W and hyper backwards shift plus S. Some particular classes can move forward and backward faster. These all fine. Uh, you can change these to playlist. You can make it whatever you like, but we'll go into more details about that. And then you can set your keys here, left mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse button, Q, and I'll go through these in further detail. Uh, you can copy this setup if you like. Also, uh, make sure this is ticked. Press enter, the enter key obviously, to type messages and is useful for redefining letter keys. So definitely leave that as is. Before we get into the game as well, I suggest when you click on certain these, as you can hear the clicking, uh, into these games and game modes. Um, this is the most popular Twin Peaks 2016. When you click on enter, it will start downloading the files. Uh, so definitely download that if you have any issues downloading uh, like myself sometimes with a .blo file definitely reach out to the discord and they'll provide that file pretty quickly um, so download that download the chaos zone um, the zombie zone uh, the bug, bug hunt extermination zone that's like starship troopers uh, you can also download the usl apollo map because they play on there as well uh, you can also download Earl Pioneer when it's available. Currently, they're tweaking it. And uh, Kazoo Forge is all you can download it. Uh, but this is the main where I see most of the action. We get about uh, 20 to 30 people on, about 10 to 13 people versing each other. It's growing. Slowly, it's growing. So let's get right into it. Loading. See? Downloaded one little tiny file for whatever it is. So we maximize it. And this is how it looks to begin with. Uh, we'll go through with basics. I'll show more of this stuff later. So, charts. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. Go out here. Um, so as you can, we'll go with the settings first. Charts, it gives you your scores and online, your deaths, kills, points, and all that stuff. You can look more into it. Current session, current top 100 and whatnot. Can explore more of that later. 
game functions, uh, skills I'll show very shortly, uh, store, how to buy stuff, ammunition, armor, weapons, etc. Uh, how to create your own squad, you can go in here and whatnot. Uh, we'll quickly go into options though. Font, like the text and talking down here, I'm going to start with that. So for this, I will make the text bigger. As you can see, you can probably see it better on stream. I'll make it large. So when you're talking, anything when you join or team you join, you can see it's green. Uh, when you press enter, blue means public chat, right? If you want to chat in your team, as you can see up here, I am in Tata Militia. There's also um, other teams like Europa and Collective and whatnot. And you can get your own bigger map um, games going. Uh, you can then chat in team. So team either you can put two slashes and say, and it goes yellow. Uh, for private messages, you can go, we'll use torch an example. You put in colon, write the person's name, or you can right click on them and choose private message and it'll pop down the bottom. And you go, hey, how are you? Just recording stuff. I don't think Torch is on. And it comes out green. Uh, and if there's anyone that you know, defeats you, um, things will pop up here, notifications of who's killed who, uh, who's taken the flag, because this is captured a flag mode of Twin Peaks. So that's chat, pretty straightforward. All right. Uh, we got options again. So message settings, what appears and what doesn't appear. I've left that as is. Resolution, leave that as is as well. And graphics, you can pretty much leave it all like this. What uh, alpha blending is, you can see how it blends it in. Uh, view line of sight, this gray area you can see around here fading, this line here. When you stop moving, you can't see behind you. Um, you can do that always, never. I do it when it's stopped. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that's basic for that. Leaving me show banners, this little banner that I have, which I'll go through shortly. All right. Um, sound, you can leave as well. Keyboard configuration, movements. We've got backward and forward, which we set up earlier. And interface, strafe is here. See, I can zoom in and out with one and two, which is for infiltrators or, <coughs> pardon me, sniper classes. You can choose that as well. Um, player list up and down, when you have like 10 people in your team, that can be helpful for when you're a particular class that can summon people to you or away from the enemy. So you can choose what you want those keys to be. Uh, shift space to enter vehicles, jetpacks, and death boards. So that's another thing. And yeah, that's that. Message macros, I'll show you how that briefly works. Enter the type, obviously we set that up already in the main client. And that is that. Uh, miscellaneous, can leave all this as is. Maybe able to change some stuff that makes movement better, but that's the general gist of it. So yeah, there is that. I'll go back to spectator mode when it lets me. Mm. Give it 10 seconds. Because as it says, you'll switch to spectator mode in 10 seconds, delayed due to terrain, terrain restrictions. So we're back in spectator mode. You can see the map here and whatnot. Uh, you can see the map here behind me, that I partially blocked off and you can uh, adjust that as well to how big or small to your liking, like that. And there you can see enemies and whatnot. So before you begin first time, what you would want to do is press F11 and you choose your class. And here I've switched from heavy weapons to a jump trooper. Each have their particular skills, which I'll explain. So jump trooper I am, I can get into game and then I can move around in this dropship. So the dropship is like a bit of the map that we're on. Uh, kind of the shape of it here. When we get a game going of capture the flag and we're attacking the enemy, there are portals 
to enter here for enemy. When we're defending, our portal for home is here. This allows for quicker games because of the smaller community. Uh, and people will mention that in your team in the yellow chat uh, when these games go on and go go home and you just go to the yellow portal to home, All right? Uh, if they just everyone's getting ready, warming up, you know, shooting each other on the field, they can enter any of these portals and it corresponds to the bottom of the map, as you can see. All right, so we'll go back to dropship. Uh, these things as well that are floating, they're ammos. So you don't actually have to buy ammo, which I'm about to explain. When you click in it with <coughs> spacebar, you can then choose your coinciding ammo type. So for me, I have assault rifle, so I'll press number two, because it says number two here. <coughs> I also have um, a grenade launcher. So if I want grenade launcher ammo, I'll press number five. So for example, I'll press two and it fills up to 400. Uh, if I make sure it's highlighted where it says like this ammo box and I'll press spacebar again, I'll press five, I've got ammo added, but it'll just say that I already have it full at 50. So each weapon has a particular amount set. If you press spacebar and spacebar again, it automatically chooses the first on real field grenades and ROGs. So you'll get the type of grenade that this class can carry and whatnot. So that is that. Now, to buy stuff, when you first begin your armor and weapons, you press F10 and we'll go through, there's your ammo types. So you can select that and you can buy 200, 400, you buy and buy. I can't now because it's full, okay? In addition, everyone gets unlimited money because uh, the community is currently small, which is nice of the developers and the admins. So that's how you choose the particular ammo. Uh, Reports will explain later. <coughs> yeah, is here. So you can see the costs here. It doesn't really matter now, but then you can choose. So you got your armor plating pretty much, your first one. And then you have your IDF and PDF generator. Well, PDF. PF generator. So I've chosen CMP6. You can also choose the drop armor, depending on what you like. And they'll give you a description down here of what it is. So it does not function on vehicles, as it says. Uh, and then it's weight. So that will be important shortly, which I'll explain. And then what kind of damage it resists down the bottom. Kinetic, explosive, and the protection percentage, and the energy drain. Same goes with the PF generator. It's like a extra personal field as it states uh, and IDF is very similar to that this as well so it explains what it does and then it's got its stats below the weight um, you can if this works with your CMP6 or drop armor for example so you put that uh, the energy rating at it and what it defends at so 1% it ignores a kinetic at 10% protection, etc, etc. So you compare that and IDF. You can also ask the community when you're in game what they recommend best and there'll always be a discussion which one's better, IDF or PF or CMP6 or drop armor. It's always a question. I think the present bets know best though. So definitely go asking those folks. Guns, most exciting part I'd say with any game. Um, so you can choose out of all these three. Um, I chose the Maclov AR MK606, it's the go-to pretty much, you can also choose the Kuchla. So it gives you what it is about, it's got slow rounds and it's expensive. And it can be expensive when you first begin with very little money. The weight of it's there, um, the reload delay here, the ammo rifle it takes as well, the ammo type, sorry, which is ammo rifle, we already got it full. And then how much damage it deals down here. Oh crap. That's alright, we'll stay there. So sometimes warnings pop up if you stay too long in one area. Moving on. You have energy stuff, plasma projector, don't know what that is, haven't tried it yet. Uh, another thing, definitely recommend first time buying and that's pretty much all classes, suit supercharger. That allows for your energy to go up, which I'll explain later. It describes it here, allows for the energy to go up quicker. <clears throat> How much it weighs. And then as well, um, doesn't really give much because, yeah, there is no armor type for it. That's for your fighting suit. Medics, this is only for the medics. Miscellaneous is for particular classes and it'll say combat engineer. Um, extreme, I don't think that supports in this kind of mode in capture the flag, Twin Peaks. 
you have your grenade launcher two types choose one you have your grenades the red means you can't choose uh, those particular grenades for your class so i can only choose frag grenades these you get automatically uh, when you die when you get back into the dropship but if you go dropship during battles you can purchase those under uh, heal and repair so two energies are max and one stim pack uh, these are machine gun and cannon. This is for the heavy weapons class only. Mines, you can buy these mines that are visible. You can't obviously choose the red ones. And they give descriptions on what they do. Pistols, you can choose pistols that use pistol ammo. You also have weapons in this game that are energy based and laser based that use energy. Um, which also protects you. So it's about balancing that. You have your rifle grenades, which I can get as well from my Maclov. I'll choose the Maclov, um, you know, rifle grenade. And it shoots, it's like an extra little grenade launcher. And it just fires straight, you know, where the grenade launches, they bounce, you'll see. Uh, rifles, they're like the carbines and whatnot, so, you know, a little sniper rifle as well. Shotguns as well are good, they're good for draining um, sh uh, energy. Uh, so we've got these two choices some machine guns very fast firing PSMG the P stands for like plasma energy style uh, weapons and this is something they're testing and then there's vehicles for the jump trooper my goodness I'm losing my mind so I'll get the well, I'm not gonna buy 200 though so I'll buy I'll buy one of them and I'll show that as well so that's the gist of the store and how it works pretty easily so let's go F12 again, as we know now. And it shows you as obviously first, your personal score for kills and deaths and when your team, how many flags they have. Purpose of this game mode is to capture the four flags and hold them until the timer runs down, you win. So I'm really happy now. See, I'm well overweight. So we'll creep out slowly. <coughs> okay. So another thing with any ID F or PF generator, make sure you always turn it on when you leave. When you die, just check and make sure it says on. Okay. Uh, now we want to, where is my drop pack? So I've set that as Z. It's building it now. It's going to drop it. Here we go. And so obviously when it, the way you know if it's highlighted, so it's not highlighted now. So you can't press space part to use it. So with any vehicle or getting into any tanks as well, those tanks in this game, it's disappeared. So make sure it says it in the little highlighter box. And then when it loads, you click and now you're on jetpack. Now I can carry 85 kilos. So movement, W for forward, um, S for back, D um, for, <laughs> D for right, um, A for, I'm forgetting my freaking keys. A for strafing left, D for straf strafing right, depending where you're facing. So obviously this is forward, this is back, this is left, this is right, WASD. Cool. So seeing your keys as well, you can see my energizer isn't set. So what I'll do is I'll unassign this one, weapon none, uh, if it wants to. There we go. Weapon unassigned is none. And I'll get my stim, which heals me, about 10 HP, it heals me, to control. And then the energizer, I can set to alt. Yeah. So you can obviously as well right click, and then you click on weapon re reassign key, and you can then just press any key on the mouse, on the keyboard, that does that automatically. Okay. So that is that. Um, so you, we'll go with guns quickly. Uh, so, as I said, there's energy-based stuff, and you've got to keep an eye on your energy down here. So, when you're a jump trooper or any particular class that using anything with energy-based or laser-based, that's shooting energy. And you see the energy in the bottom right above the map uh, go down. So, if I keep spamming it, you can also see here, we have this energy bar, which it's automatically defaulted, keeps dropping down. Right? Pretty straightforward. You don't want that to get too low because then you'll die a lot quicker. Energy helps to balance between your health, armor, suit supercharger, um, and protects you all in that way. So you want to not spam it too much. All right. Um, so they get off, obviously, vehicles. You hold down shift and spacebar. Now, I'm still slow, right? 
let's say I don't want the drop pack to, you know, this drop pack builder to be anymore here. I can right click and drop all because obviously there's only one. So I'm still a bit overweight. Each class has a specific <coughs> amount of weight that you can uh, carry with you. Obviously, you've got to balance all that out ammo wise. So I can like drop rifle ammo. I'll drop, let's say, half. And then I'll be moving a lot faster, see? Easy, no problems asked. Pick it up. You can feel it slightly. It is a bit slower. Uh, but obviously, the more you uh, use stuff, so left click, see, I'm using L button, which is left mouse click, and you'll see the weight slowly drop. And as you can see as well, there is recoil on certain weapons. You know, like rockets, uh, rocket launchers, plasma cannons, they will push you back. But you can move around and shoot at the same time, which is cool. So this little arrow, it's hard to see. So how I'm touching his head with this yellow marker, that's my mouse pointer. And this is your reticle to aim as well. So you have an idea where to shoot. Now, another thing people are probably wondering is like, what the hell are all these red boxes and green boxes and yellow boxes? So that's a thing called show physics. So as you can see, I put a question mark in front of it. <coughs> and write show physics. That allows you to see what you can shoot over uh, and what you can't shoot through or over. So when I press enter, it disappears and it looks all nice and sleek, like the good old days. But a lot of people use it to see if you can shoot through windows, see? This one doesn't say if I can shoot through windows, but there's some windows that you can shoot through. So I will enable that again if I can spell. There you go. So you can see, no, can't shoot through. If if there is a window like this, and you use show physics, it'll be yellow, so you can shoot through that window then. Okay. And so, you, again, weight's going down, right? And uh, what else? So, Steam, as I said, let's say you're on 40 HP, I press control. Maybe that's why I changed it. Doesn't want to work. So, we'll make it C. So, if I use it, it would heal me 50, or will you heal me 10 HP. If I'm really low on energy, which we can show, and we'll build one of these, and I'll show you how the energizer works. This is for any classes, and even if you're fighting and you're running away, you're like on zero energy, and you can pop an energizer, and then, what's it called? Use the regenerate it. will protect you and whatnot. You can pop it twice there, quickly go to the drop ship. Drop ship, you have to have full energy to use. So now I'm really low, yeah? I'm on zero pretty much hitting constantly. So yeah, I can't even, it's clicking, can't use it. So now if I pop it, there it goes, jumped up and jumped up full. There you go, it may take a bit. So I start spamming, you can hear me spamming that button. All right, so there you go. That's how the uh, energizer works as well. We'll drop that. Uh, then you have your other thing quickly as a defense thing you can use. It's called the repulsor uh, field, which is part of the repulsor coil. When you die, you get three of them, like the grenades. So let's say someone throws a grenade at you, enemy grenade, there's your grenade, and it's coming towards you. Let's say that's the grenade and it's coming towards me, you know. Uh, I hit that tab and the repulsor field will push away grenades, push, push away plasma cannons and um, grenade launchers and rocket launchers and bullets will just bounce it away. So definitely use that. Use it wisely, as there are only three, but you'll know when to use it wisely. You'll get the hang of this game. Uh, and yes, as you can see, grenades will bounce. You learn how many times they bounce until they explode. So this one only goes, what's it called? One bounce. There we go. And now I've run out. Fair, fair. These are default things each class has. The dropship recall, shoot teleport, and repulse build. Some have specific stuff, like a heavy weapons has a demo pack, or an infantryman has uh, knives. So I would say that usually has a Z, the Z key, and a demo pack on the heavy class drops TNT, and you can't repulse, use the repulsor field on those. Uh, and the infantryman has uh, knives and they can just run up to you close by to this and just swipe. You'll see these swipe marks, you know, going for you. Um, but the uh, jump trooper doesn't have that stuff. So 
they've got other benefits, you know, they're a faster class, they've got the drop pack that shoots out the drop blaster shots, those double, you know, red laser beams that were coming out. So that is that. You have your grenade launcher. You can spam this and it bounces more times. Yeah, you can bounce things around uh, like grenades and whatnot. You can use the environment and use the show physics to learn where to throw things. So if this was a base, you would shoot into there and get the enemy. So that was a bad one. That was a good one. So that is that. Movements wise, um, you have the shift hyper before, but that doesn't work with this class. I believe that only works with the infiltrator sniper class. They can cloak, they can be invisible on radar and on screen until they use a weapon or a particular ability. So you'd hold down shift and press W to go forward and run faster. So this is the uh, mouse and keyboard build. First version of this, I hope everyone likes what I've explained. Um, but if you have any more technical issues, uh, by all means reach out to uh, the Discord uh, members, the admins, the pros, the vets, in the technical support uh, page there. And they'll be glad to help out. Um, Benny, any questions, by all means ask. And yeah, you shall see, learn, play. Very cool game. This is what I grew up when I was you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. Now I'm 32 or so, 33, 32, I don't know how freaking old I am. But that is that. We go back to the dropship, which is R for me. Uh, before I forget, yes, yeah, so if you choose a friend, you can teleport suit teleport to a you know a friend or a team member back to dropship your ninja goes real fast in the dropship um, i've used some ammo up now so again spacebar two spacebar two and now it's full again i'm a little i won't buy it i could buy it i'll buy the grenade launch ammo i'll click it on this time or i can do number five so i'll use number five and then i'll be over well, i won't be overweight still because I don't have the grenades and repulses. So if I press spacebar and spacebar again to select refill grenades, first one, or will automatically do that and put me overweight. So not too much, it's just a little bit, but that's fine. Quick one, banners, these little things next to your name is like a little personality thing or wanna show off what you've designed. You can make these banners, they're called. Uh, I will show that here. So I have, a crap ton that I've stored and there's plenty more I just haven't put them all on and you can choose what you want so I'll go with this dragon so it looks horrible like that that's how it looks here and then this is how it looks when you're in game so if I want to save that now go yes uh, if I want to send to a friend you can do that as well you can import them or you can refresh banner you just put all these BMP files uh, into your directory of uh, infantry. Uh, also, if you make your own customized ones here, you can export them, just gotta name it something. Cool, we'll leave it as this fire one now. That is pretty much it. Um, off the top of my head, this is winging it from Chile here. And I hope uh, everyone appreciates it. I think that's pretty much times in, half an hour is quite a bit, didn't realize how fast it will go. So happy hunting, um, have fun with any game you play anyways, um, but yeah, do come check out uh, Infantry, I'll have the links and whatnot in the description below, see you all later, take care.